서양에서는 물체를 중심으로 생각한다. 따라서 서양의 언어에는 단수와 복수의 구분이 발달되어 있다. 그러나 동양의 언어에서는 단수와 복수를 일일이 구분하지 않는다. Chinese don't say eat one particular orange. They don't say that. In English, you have to say eat this apple, eat an apple, you know, or apple a day. I mean, you know, we have to uh, in the English language have to use that. In the Chinese, you don't you don't have to you, you, because you have to pay attention to the context. It's the habits of your thoughts, so you don't need, need to emphasize that um, you know specific uh, quantity of objects. You're supposed to know. Uh, in English language, uh, they want to be very clear and specific. By the way, that's how the kids in the United States react sometimes. Like teachers say, "Go eat some fruit." Then the kids say, "Which fruit you were talking about? You want to eat that one banana, one apple, one strawberry?" You don't get this kind of uh, complaints from Asian kids. They they just, "Oh, I'm going to eat it," and they know what you mean. 서양인은 사물의 개체성을 강조한다. 따라서 전체라는 개념도 서양인에게는 개체들이 모여서 이루어진 집합의 의미이다. 그러나 동양인에게 있어서 전체란 개체성이 없는 하나의 덩어리와도 같은 상태, 즉 일체의 상태를 의미한다. 사진 속의 대상을 바라볼 때도 동양인과 서양인의 뇌 속에서는 각기 다른 작용이 일어난다. Basically, in the back of your head, there's areas of the brain that are associated um, primarily with perception, and so the brain, when it sees a picture, has to interpret all those forms and shapes and curves. And what we see is that when an Asian brain sees a picture, it looks at the picture as a whole and doesn't the the uh, the area in the brain that pays attention to individual objects doesn't activate so much. Whereas for an American, when they look at the same picture, their brain actually um, focuses on individual objects, and the part of their brain that understands what an individual object is is what will activate more. 동양인은 사진을 통째로 본다. 그러나 서양인은 사진 속의 물체를 개별적으로 각각 분리해서 본다. <목소리>